Hi, Steve here again from Brownells, and today we're going to bring you another gun from the vault. What I've got here is a Smith & Wesson 25-2. That's a 45 caliber revolver built on the big end frame. Now the slick thing about this gun is it is chambered in 45 ACP, the same thing the 1911 shoots. And it does that by using these moon clips. Now this is a pretty radical concept, but it's not a new one. Uh, it first appeared almost 100 years ago, uh, in the days of World War I. We couldn't produce enough 1911s to supply our army and the United Kingdom's army. So they went to Smith & Wesson and Colt and said, can you guys modify some big frame revolvers to take the 45 cartridge? Well, Smith, a Smith & Wesson engineer came up with the idea of the moon clip. Now those were half moon clips that held three rounds each. They did the same thing. They allowed you to load the gun, but more importantly, to eject the cartridge after it was shot. I'll show you why. You put just a 45 case in here, there is a head space shoulder for it, and you can fire it. But when you try to extract it, nothing happens. You gotta stick a pencil or something in there and poke it out. The thing I like about this, keeps all your brass together, you've got an exact count of what you want, you've got an instant reload. Um, you don't have to worry about what type of bullet you load if you're a hand loader. It'll take any kind of hollow point, wad cutter, semi-wad cutter. You can shoot anything in this revolver. Now this particular one's been modified. It's got a gold bead front sight because that helps me see. And it's got some Hogue rubber grips on, which I find very comfortable. Even this, this does not re recoil that much, but I still, on a big caliber, these grips make it comfortable for me. You'll notice there's a target hammer, target trigger. It's got the white outline sight. Of course, the uh, red ramp is gone, and I've got a gold bead up there. But all in all, you stack this next to a 44 Magnum, 45 Long Colt, or even the big Model 27, they all look alike. It's just the caliber difference. This is a great revolver. The 45 automatic does not recoil that much in something this heavy. Very pleasant to shoot. Extremely accurate. For a long time, these were used as bullseye guns. That's primary purpose they came out with, to use the service round shooting competition. Typical Smith & Wesson quality. Can't beat it for a fun gun to shoot. That's why I take it out and shoot it every chance I get. If there's a particular firearm you'd like to see us do, leave us a comment and we'll do our best to accommodate you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again when we bring you another gun from the vault.